it's been a problem spot for decades and now more problems. The ongoing testing at Hunter's Point has turned up yet another troubling surprise, a tiny piece of radioactively contaminated glass. Where it was found is raising even more questions. Here's investigative reporter Jackson Vanderbecken. It's about the size of a pea. It's right between his two fingers there. It's very tiny. Sean Ryan McRae, a Navy shipyard cleanup project manager, is talking about a shard of glass recently found on the site of the old Hunters Point shipyard. He says there's no immediate danger, but says the tiny shard is radioactive. The immediate read, readings from the um, devices show that there was a very low dose of radiation from the object that is low and does not pose a risk. But tiny or not, some say the discovery has big implications. It's another nail in their coffin. Steve Castleman is an attorney with the UC Berkeley Environmental Law Clinic. Today, the clinic notified the Navy that it intended to sue over anomalies in the ongoing test program at the old shipyard. This notice is a shot across the bow of the Navy and the EPA to let them know that we're not going to get them we're not going to let them get away with doing a slipshod, shoddy, and unlawful cleanup here at the Hunters Point shipyard. Castleman notes that back in 2015, the Navy assured the community that no radiological contamination remains on the Parcel B site. And that's where the tainted glass was recently found. It turns out Parcel B had been previously certified cleaned by Tetratech. And in the years since then, that firm has been dogged by whistleblower allegations of falsification and fraud. While the firm still denies any wrongdoing, the Navy decided to order more tests to reassure the public. No justice! No peace! Community organizers at the press conference today said the Navy is not doing enough to make sure the site is clean. And we still have to fight and file lawsuits just for the Navy to do their job. Turns out that glass discovery is not the only surprise uncovered in that new testing. Back in 2021, tests showed elevated levels of cancer causing strontium-90 on another nearby part of the shipyard, known as Parcel G. The Navy has downplayed those findings as unreliable. But this year, crews dug up this radium deck marker on another nearby parcel, dubbed Parcel C, another site Tetra Tech had previously certified as clean. We want them to retest 100%. Castleman says any one of the three recent findings should be enough to make the Navy honor its commitment to retest the entire site before work begins on the planned massive residential and commercial development there. They agreed that if they found any contamination, they would retest 100% of it. They have found contamination 25 different places since they made that promise. And yet they have reneged on that promise. The Navy said it had no comment on the action today as it had not yet received the notice. In the past, the Navy has said the ongoing testing is at the heart of its work to ensure there's no contamination on the shipyard that would pose a public health or environmental risk. Jackson Vanderbecken, NBC, Bay Area News.